to a regular old game fair on the Churchill stand and uh, Rock comes here and sets this up every year. Yeah, it's well, just an as one of the aspects of the game fair. Everybody likes to come and visit Churchill because we, do, we yeah. get set so well and we have a good drink, exactly. a good and laugh. And enjoy ourselves and, and a bit of food. It's brilliant. We have three, three days off fun. Exactly. You know. Meet everybody in the yeah. trade and customers new and yeah. old customers as well. It's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, this, this is one weather. aspect of the game fair, Rob, is meeting people that we haven't seen yeah. since last season. Exactly. You know? And it sort of kickstarts the season for many people, yeah. doesn't it? With the, yeah. with the grouse around the corner and everything. Yeah. It gives chance for people to compare products and look around. I think it's absolutely vital for our industry. I really do, mate. Yeah. Have, you, have you all got any new products on, products got, on sale we've, this we've year? Got a new, uh, we've got a few new clothing lines that we're pushing hard. Yeah. And then we've also got a new prototype gun that we're working on. And we've just got right. the first prototype here that we've been looking at. Yeah. So yeah, look, it's um, it's good and it's there's huge numbers here, isn't it? And the weather's been holding out for people. It's a bit windy today, but everyone's just coming in and enjoying themselves. So it's what it's all about. Yeah. And on our way around, I bumped into Americans, Swedish. The Saudi royal family are here having a look around. I've got uh, my friend from Stony Creek. He's from yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. You know, and they all look forward to this, yeah. you know, this oh, three days. Loads, loads of people come in from America as well. Shooting, no one has to do it. This is a sport. Yeah. And we've got to be welcoming to everybody. Yeah. And that's where shows like this, we've got to be open. Yeah. We've got to be welcoming. It doesn't matter who they are. We can't be elitist. I, I encourage everybody to come to Game Fair because you, they'll see that it's not a case of them and us. Everybody gets mixed yeah. in. And you've said it many times, you know, we're in an industry. Shooting yeah. is an industry. It is. If you want yeah. any example of that, look around here, look at all the crowds, look yeah. at the businesses involved. Yeah. You know, shooting is a proper industry and that's yeah. how we need to be treating it as a professional place. We've all got to get together, haven't we? We've all got to get yeah. together and we've got to work together and be proud of what we've got. Yeah. And instead of pulling one way and pushing the other, yeah. it's about coming together and working. Yeah. The key that we get people, you know, these celebrities now being yeah. celebrities chefs or whatever going shooting promoting our sport and yeah. they love it we all need to be working together like that well Rob thanks Good very much I'll look, at, I'll look at it this way mate. You're, you're a for, a front runner in the industry well, we keep trying and, and we, we, we'll look at guys like you for guidance thank you and thank you very much thank for you for all your support look, as well you're a good old boy cheers thank, thank you, you. one or two nice little bits of clothing especially my gilet what I wear in the shooting season and uh, how long have you been in business now? It's come out four years. Yeah. Four years yeah. yeah I know you've gone from strength to strength in four years and uh, we're, we're just doing a thing about the game fair what it means to small businesses and I would imagine it's uh, it's a, a nice little prop up for yourselves. It is, yeah. It kind of, it's my first. It's the first day of my year. Yeah. You know, it's really important for small businesses and you know it's yeah. for the community really. Yeah. We all stick together and bounce off one yeah. another. Is is any new lines that you've got to this year that that yeah, you can this, show us? This dress is a new line. Right. I've introduced some new tweeds. Yeah. Um, a long waistcoat. Um, the smock is a great, a great thing. I know you, you do a full range from the little toddler yeah. right through to old grandpas yeah. like me. <laughs> and is there anything that you can remember that inspired you to, you know, to create children's clothing? Absolutely, because there, there's nothing that you can buy for little people that's beautiful and well made and British. You can't really get it off the peg, can you? No, it's you got can't. to be, it's got, got to be made by people like yourself, yeah. hasn't it? And you I know. have a toddler, and I couldn't yeah. find anything but to put yeah. her in, so I yeah. decided to make some. This is a new design. Wedding yep. dress. Yeah, that's the yeah. new. That's the next one. Yeah. So, what what sort of material is this made of, Emma? So it's tweed, and then it's lined in a really heavy satin, and then it's finished with um, some beautiful lace, and then it's all it's all hand finished. Yeah, I must admit it looks fantastic. 
and uh, it's it great for a country lo- wedding. Looks a real work of art, that. Yes, it's a credit to you, really. This this little girl started with a little cottage industry, and it's getting bigger and bigger. And the the range is definitely getting bigger and bigger. There's a lot more colours and there is. and. Um, designs and, is, and yeah. when I first met you. Yes, and it's is. a, a credit, credit to you, I mean you've done very well. Thank you, Dave. Before we do this interview with my good friends from Promatic, I've been uh, kidnapped by Hull. They've stuck that on my shirt and I didn't realise it was on, but this is what I'm going to do with it now. <laughs> so we're just going through a bit of history of Promatic and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's Roughly 25 years or something like that. Uh, just go- over 30. So is it? 30 years yeah. Yeah, in Cheshire yeah. on the Wirral. Well, um, this is about, it started off with about four people when Brian moved the firm there, and it's now yeah. approximately 70 people in the factory there now. Yeah. So. yeah. And it's just gone from strength to strength. And one thing about Promatic, wherever you go, it's the trap to, uh, to have on, on the shoot if you don't want to be let down. Very true, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we do almost about 70 models now across the range of sporting fit ass, Olympic yeah. traps, eating every discipline you could want, really. Obviously, yeah. the simulated game as well. So, um, uh, as you all know, I, I attend uh, a significant amount of um, charity shows every yeah. year. And out of the 11 that I've uh, been to this year, Ten of them have been run by Promatic yeah, traps. Exactly, yeah. So that just proves, you know, that yeah. the the, uh, the the engineering capability of that uh, of that yeah. product. The beautiful thing about a Promatic, it's quite simple in yeah. terms of its design. There's not a lot to go wrong. Yeah. As long as you've got yeah. the trap set to the clay, yeah. uh, then you're away. Yeah. Which is good. Well, have you had a good show? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Very busy yesterday. It was pretty yeah. intense. Yeah. Um, well. That one thing that will make Brian happy is that he's sold a few. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we go home with an empty yeah. empty lorry, it'll be all yeah. good news. So uh, yeah. it's not bad. And obviously, we've got a lot of traps coming back from all the competitions, the world sporting, yeah. and all these things at the moment. So we're yeah. shifting a lot of them at the moment, as well as the new ones. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, at the game fair, you get people want to buy a little trap from home. You've got yeah. people want to go all out and spend yeah. 15, yeah. 20 grand for something yeah. at home. So. Of course, you do the, the actual single column one. Yeah, which is a which is a nice little beginner trap for yeah. anybody wanting to school youngsters. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just starting off in the the shooting yeah. net world. Anyway, Duncan. Good to see you, Dave. Yeah, As always. yeah, yeah. Thanks very much for yeah. that little interview. We love that. What's the reason that you're picking grouse and uh, George for shooting pheasants with? I just. They were introduced to me by yourself yeah. last season. I used to shoot. You had some loaded for me with the copper shot. That's right, yeah. yeah. Great shell, but these, these 33 grand, are just the best I ever used on pheasants. Pheasants, partridges, I mean, you called them grass. Yep. Good at it in shot, aren't oh.
Stony Creek uh, clothing and uh, I know the product personally, it's a product that I wear myself in the field. It is quite a technical product really, it's, 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 it's light enough, I mean I, I've got uh, one of these type of coats that you've got on yeah. now and it's, 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 it's light enough to shoot in. Uh, one, one thing, uh, but it, it, it covers all aspects of the, uh, of the countryside, all the weather conditions. What we've done is we really understand the application and so we're quite passionate as a team around how do we best make that product perform for that person in that environment. The last thing you want to be is rugged up so much That's right, that you yeah. can't mount a gun That's and right. it's restricting yeah. all your arms and yeah. no stretch in yeah. products. Yeah. So we have a lot of a lot of products that will have stretch in the yeah. shoulders, yeah. gussets in places so that you've yeah. got freedom of movement. Yeah. You are a, you're a proper family of hunters. We're just you know. man yeah, on it, and, yeah. and, and, so, and that's how you've designed yeah. your product, how you would like to be, be clothed in, in, yeah. in serious weather. And we just want to make products better. Yeah. So we produce a product like this and then yeah. we'll just say, right, how can we make it better? Yeah. And, yeah. and so to yeah. do that, we've got to listen yeah. and we've got to listen to um, hunters. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to listen to people that are commercially using yeah. product yeah. and we've got to listen to our own design teams and yeah. we try and put all that together. The whole countryside really. You yeah, know, absolutely. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you got any new designs on the board or is that too secret to be talking we, about? Uh, <laughs> we have always got designs on the yeah. board, yeah. yeah. We're, um, we've just launched a full woman's range from yeah. merino base layers right, right through to technical out, outer layers and from a global perspective, that is a big deal for us. Thanks, thanks Dave. Yeah, yeah, thanks very much for thanks you know for giving us a bit of time and no, explaining the product, mate. Thank, thank you. you. Dave.